what's good? I heard that's something that you could say at the beginning of videos and it makes you sound cool. Back to basics. We're going to talk about specific types of functions today and those types of functions are called linear functions. Linear. Now there, there's a word inside linear that might help me understand. Is it the word ear? No. Oh, the first four letters in linear are line. Ugh. So linear functions are straight lines. That's simple. I can remember that even if I run out of room. They can look like this. The most standard straight line ever, the slope intercept form. Y equals MX plus B. What don't you see? Well, you don't see X squared. You don't see X cubed. You don't see square root of X. You don't see X on the bottom. You can have a number attached to X, but you can't manipulate X itself. X has to be X. You also can't change Y either. You can't make it Y squared or X square root of Y, stuff like that. Okay? So uh, that's that. They also follow, let's get a different color, follow a pattern of y over x values. y over x values, that's like rise over, oh, slope. So whatever the slope is has to be the same slope. If the slope changes, then it can't be a straight line anymore. So they have to follow a pattern of y to x values. Okay, I think I can handle this. So it looks like what we're doing today is just figuring out if stuff is linear or not. Are you a line? Yes. Are you a line? No. Are you a line? No. A lot of people are like, but it's two lines. I know. But is it a line? No. Gotcha. Easy, right? Now, I have to make sure that these are in the form y equals mx plus b, and you can't have x squared, and you can't have x cubed, and you can't have x to the whatever, and you can't have square root of x, and you can't have x on the bottom, and y can't be all funky. So y equals x plus 4. Is x x? Yep. Is y normal? Yep. Is that linear? Yep. I know how to graph that. I would start at 4 and my slope is 1 over 1. That's a line. Is that guy linear? Nope. And you might say, yeah, but x is just x. Yeah, x is x on the bottom where Drake started. So this is non-linear. Because if I were to rewrite this out, I would write out y equals 6 over x, and the fact that x is on the bottom is a problem. It wasn't a problem for Drake, though. I, already know, I know I made that joke, but I just felt like I had to do it again. Is that bottom one there? You know who else? Is that bottom one there linear or nonlinear? Nonlinear. Why? Because x to the cube is all freaky weird. It's actually called a cubic function. Can't have it. Can't have it. Look at that, we're done almost already. Now this is gonna be the last part of that first slide that I showed you. In order for this to be linear, there has to be a pattern of x, I'm sorry, of y over x values. So let me find the pattern for my x's and let me find the pattern for my y's. My pattern up here for my x's is plus one. Plus one, plus one. All of these are plus one, plus one, plus one. My y's are plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. So all of my y's are plus two. All of my x's are plus two. So I have two over one, two over one, two over one, two over one. Does that follow a pattern of y over x values? Yes. So is it linear? Yes. So basically, if you have like the same pattern for your Y's and the same pattern for your X's, you're done already. You don't have to think too much into it. Hmm. This is easy. I add one, add one, add one, add one. 
What do I get to get from one pie to two pies? I just add a pie. So add a pie. Add a pie. Add a pie. <laughs> This is like when my family gets together for Thanksgiving. So uh, let me see. I have all of my X's are add one. All of my Y's are add pie, which means they all follow the same pattern all along. I don't have to overthink it. This is linear. There's no break in my pattern. Now, when my pattern starts to break, that's when I have to be a little bit more careful, and I have a feeling that's going to happen here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Add three for my X. Add three for my X. Add 1.5. Add 1.5. So my X's went up by three and by three. My Y's went up by 0.5 and 1.5, I mean. I'm sorry, 1.5 and 1.5. So did my patterns change? No, they follow a pattern. What does that mean? Linear. Well, I did a pretty lousy job showing you the difference between linear and nonlinear with these types of problems. But simply put, if that was plus three and plus three, and that one was plus 1.5 and plus 0.5, it broke the pattern. That's what would make it nonlinear. But since all of these follow the patterns, we're all good. We're all good. Okay, quick video. Bye.